Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Just a Kid here, and I'm making another video of uh, talking about jury stories, but I'm just going a little bit more in depth about them, uh, seeing as how you guys enjoyed the jury, jury tutorial. And if you want to see it, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, if you want to check that out, it's a little bit more of a overall guide about how to play jury. So this video will be talking about. Uh, jury stores, as we said before, and the releases, and kind of like how I use them, and just some tips about how to use them. So, first off, let's talk about the store itself. So, this move right here is 10 frame startup, and it has, I believe, 20 to 24 frames of recovery, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's not necessarily a terrible move, but it kind of hurts jury especially since she needs them in order to perform the release mechanics of it. So for example, I just stored the light version of uh, of it, and when I release it, it gives me this, which I'll go in depth later. But yeah, it kind of hurts people, hurts uh, a jury, in a sense, because if the opponent is seeing that she is going to store, then it may be hard for her, especially in the neutral department, of when to store and how to store. So you kind of got to mix up how you're going to store. So for example, you could back dash, you can go forward, press a button into store. You can do all sorts of things into this. Since uh, any button that's special cancelable, you can go into store. So for example, I can do that and I'm safely storing. Also, it is minus two on block, so you are safe afterwards. So that is a good thing. Now, th that goes for the case for everything except for EX. EX is a different move and I'll go that later. But let's go through the, all the store releases. So these are all the stores, and I'll go each by one, start from light to heavy. So light is a grounded fireball that travels to the on the floor slowly. Um, medium is kind of like a fake overhead in a sense, and a throw bait, and a combo extender. And heavy is a two-hitting uh, kick move that can it's decent range, but is very punishable on block. So let's start with the light one and we'll work our way up from there. So the light release is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, um, 14 frames rele uh, st release, or startup, sorry. But it has 23 frames of recovery and is minus two and plus two on block and on hit. So light is probably your most useful one. Um, and that is a good question I get a, a lot, uh, which store is the most uh, effective or the one that I think is the most important. I think light is the most important because mainly because you can create space and also you can create your bait your opponents at jumping. You can get a free store if the opponent backs off. There's so much you can do with this store that is so intricate in its kind of design. And I think this is kind of how Capcom wanted it. Um, I don't think it's necessarily the worst store. Uh, I'll go into more in depth about uh, which one is the worst store personally but yeah I think this is the best one and I'll show you an example of what you can do with it so I have Nikali set to hold down then jump towards me and here's what happens when if you store and release it uh, and let's see if I can do this first try notice that you have enough frames of this um, this release to be able to anti-air them or bait them into a jump of some sort but again this is practice mode so you may not be able to create it in game all the time but roughly about nine times out of ten this could happen to a player who may not understand how to approach jury and the fireball just helps you create certain situations where you think that they may not think that it's your turn but it actually is your turn so for example I'll show you if I have Nikali block all and I do this from a range, I notice I'm plus one right there. Originally, it's supposed to be minus two regularly, but since I spaced it out, uh, I was able to make myself plus after the dash. Now, some tips about this is that it doesn't always combo to buttons exactly. There's sometimes a gap in between the button and the firewall release, should you do it. So, you got to be mindful of that and understand that people may have uh, invincible projectile moves that may be able to go through it or punish you for doing it so you gotta keep in mind of when to do it and how to do it so the medium release right here is a fake overhead that can catch opponents off guard 
uh, it can go into combo extensions, and overall, just I don't, I don't think it's like, I don't think it's a personally, I don't think it's the second best. I think it's the worst, primarily because if you miss a confirm, you are minus four, meaning that pretty much everyone in the game can punish you somehow or some way. Um. It is good for combo extension, especially if you know you're gonna get the combo. So, for example, I can show you a combo right here. It's definitely good for a combo such as that, where it's good oki, okay, good damage, and it's not bad. However, it's again, it's really the worst one probably because if it was an overhead, it probably would be better, and if it wasn't minus four, it'd probably be a little bit better. But since it's minus four and it's not an overhead, then it's not really that great. It can catch opponents uh, throw attacking, or potentially catch them uh, maybe pressing a ground button or some sort or a low button because it does go over lows at a certain uh, frame. But it's just not overall useful, especially if you're trying to think about storing in order to start the game. So now let's talk about heavy. Heavy is a two hitting, uh, two hitting special move. At least into Oki, as well as potential mix-ups. So right there, as you can see, I just said I have Oki. Afterwards, it's, uh, it doesn't matter if the quick rise back roll. Um, this release is not necessarily bad. Um, it is definitely good for if you're trying to do a confirm or you don't long range button, for example, right here. If you don't want to flip kick, you want to just release really go to heavy and uh, get that damage in Oki. It's not that bad. Um, but yeah, I don't think this store is not good nor great. It is minus six on block, so you have to keep in mind of that. But I think the benefits outweigh the ne the negatives slightly. Um, but yeah, I kind of use this as a combo extend extender or a combo ender. Um, it's not bad for catching uh, opponents off guard. It also absorbs a fireball, so you gotta keep in mind of that. So if you want to try and do something different with the fireball war you can use this uh store to try and uh attack and change the method um but yeah those are kind of like all the stores uh kind of generalized and kind of going also going a little bit in depth you know um but again i think thrusting the most important one and the best one is light store primarily because you can create so many different situations where you could be from negative to plus or you can create a trap of your opponent you can do so much with it and it, it gives Jury a little bit more creativity because she doesn't have much creativity as other characters in this game. So it's kind of different uh, with her. But yeah, Light Store is definitely the best. Uh, I think Medium Store is the worst primarily because it may not combo, it, it's not an overhead, it's, it's punishable by a lot of characters, so it's not all that great. Um, so the EX version of the store is actually not even a store at all, it's actually just a special move, and it's this. So the EX, and I, I like to call the kicks, just to make it simple, because uh, it's a kind of a kick bu uh, motion. Um, so EX kicks uh, basically does, uh, I believe, 4-hitting combo, and you can confirm it from a button, a special cancel bow, and... Overall, it's not bad. It's minus two on block, and you get Oki off of it. And you can also special cancelable, uh, special can or not special uh, cancel, um, V trigger cancel into it. So you can cancel the first two hits, or you can cancel all the hits, and then get Oki. Um, but yeah, it's not overall bad. Um, if you do miss a confirm, if you do have V trigger, you can cancel the first two hits, and you believe plus five on block. So you are uh, okay if you do miss cancel it. Um, but yeah, EX kicks is not bad. It's not, um, it could be worse. I mean, it could be min minus three or minus four on block. Thankfully, it's not. But yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad special move. Uh, it's pretty good for combo, uh, extensions or combo enders. Again, I think that's kind of the thing with, uh, jury stores is that most of them are combo enders. So, you kind of gotta, uh, think about what resources you're gonna use to end off, like, a combo. So, for example, I can do this. As you can see, I just used a light store and I, then I use EX kicks to try and get some damage in. But you also can do this. This gives you store and Oki without burning any meter. 
So you kind of have to think about when to burn the meter for each kicks or uh, gain a store. So overall, the store mechanic for Jerry is kind of rough in a sense, especially in Street Fighter V. Seeing as how she's one of the only ones where she doesn't have her special moves kind of in the beginning of the game. And I say that kind of differently because most characters always have their special move or have some sort of move to start off with. Well, Jerry has... Not many special moves that are plus on block, or I believe not any any of her moves are plus on block, her special moves. And it's kind of hard to start the game with her because you're not sure whether you want to backdash and store or to store or something like that. So depending on your opponent, I would say try and think about when to store and how to store. Um, but yeah, I think that's overall kind of covering the gist of the store mechanic. Um, hopefully this kind of helps uh, anyone who's trying to learn Jerry or trying to play Jerry right now. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Sorry, it's a little bit unscripted, kind of. Um, kind of want make this quick video. I'm not uh, exactly home right now. I'm at some somewhere else. But I, I feel like I owe you guys this video. And I really appreciate you guys' support on my YouTube as well as my Twitch. So make sure to follow my Twitch. Uh, just get 515. It'll be a link in the description as well as my Twitter. And make sure to subscribe here, like this video, and also comment, talk about more about Jury, or if you want to talk about more about other characters or something. But yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning into the video, and I hope you guys have a good day. Take care.